I crit. I didn't want to crit. Oh, I didn't want to crit. <laughs> I didn't want to crit. No, you're too powerful for your own good. Hello everyone, my name is Gracian and welcome to episode 16 of this Let's Play of The Last Spell on Lakeburg, the new Lakeburg after the Fear of the Lake patch. So we are in the middle of night 10. We have 146 remaining enemies. This side's doing okay. A lot of boomers. This side's... I think we'll be okay. I think we can triage this one. I'm worried about this side. We just have Dr. Paul down here to take care of this by himself. This side is troublesome. But I believe in Kayla's ability to tank through a lot of this stuff. So let's end turn. Uh, one action point remaining. You don't have any defensive... No, you don't have anything to do... No. Okay, let's end turn up here. There we go, some explosions. Just wandering closer, getting in the walls. And ballistas are taking some of them out. Lowering the panic, that's excellent. Okay, they're killing themselves on the walls. Okay, they do die when they use the explosion, that's good. Else we just die in infinite explosions. Okay, we really gotta take care of all these. God, there's so many monsters, what the hell? Um, they're knocking down houses down here. Uh, fuck. <laughs> this is so bad. There's so many bad guys. <laughs> Please leave me alone. <laughs> okay, let's get here. Uh, let's mark these little flying fucks. Uh, let's get like a tight volley in here, I think. It's big damage. And then we just want to start picking them off for the uh, sweet, sweet range bonus. <laughs> Kill five more. Power shot? May, may kill. Nice. Okay, we need to kill three more. Uh, this guy's got a sword stabbing through him. It's pretty fun. Oh no, I didn't kill those ones. They'll survive with a tiny bit of health. Well, I guess I should go back through them then. Unfortunately. Nice. Explosion won't hit me. Awesome. Okay. So a lot of guys here, but I really got to clean up the ones that are kind of um, walking through the the uh, the outside here because they're gonna get in. And we don't have any defenses, so really we got to go to like here where nothing can get to us. Okay, perfect. Gracian. We have to stop the ones inside the city from destroying everything. Kill with that. So I gotta, I can't get over to that one. Um, 88. This one may not kill it though. So it may actually destroy the house, which is not great. Can we hit? I need to get one closer, so I gotta end my turn over here so I can hit this one. So let's start start a nice a nice delicious bee sting right in here. Enjoy. Okay, now this one, when it dies, will pass along some of its problems. I gotta save two action points. That one's gonna die from poison. Perfect, now we have one action point left. Let's go ahead and spend that on, oh dear, nothing to really, oh, this one back here, there we go. Okay, and then let's move over to Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul, Dr. Paul's in trouble. This is fine, this is fine. Let's mark that guy, blast him. Um, dear God. Let's take the shots at the ones we can kill. And try to protect this portal. As well, Mark. We need support over here, but we don't really have it because everyone's busy. Everyone is very busy. Okay. Um, 
It's a nice little shocking touch here. This will do up to 133 damage. It's not really enough. Oh, it didn't kill him. Damn it. Finish him off. So now where do I go? I think I go down here and tank some of these stupid idiots. Maybe I just stand right here. So they can't really fully surround me, but I can poison them and stuff. I'd really like to kill this isolated guy, but the only way to do it... Oh, I can throw... Okay, this is a multi-target 132. This is... Ooh, this is a lot more damage. So we want to throw... Two daggers into that one. Cool. Perfect, okay. So then we can run up to here, spear through these two. We go on a little murder rampage over here with all these isolated ones. And then I'm out of movement, really, so we're just going to use a dodge. And that was the whole turn, unfortunately. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so many, so many zombies down here. Gracian's good, he, but I can't leave him until he's completely cleaned up. Like, I can't leave the area because I can't let any of them just roam around for free. So it's kind of a kind of a problem because I, I can't send support. The fastest person to, that could get there would be through this portal, which is Gracian. Uh, I could send one of these two, but again, there's a lot here. I have a lot of assets to protect. Temples, other structures, housing. Um, so we've used everybody down here. Unfortunately, let's just scoot one over just in case they get through somehow. Uh-oh. Oh, it didn't kill it. It was a long shot. Oh, God. Oh, I just blew up a ballista. Uh, okay, Gracian, you gotta take that guy out. We'll leave this one for a ballista. This guy has to go. Okay, he's pretty wounded now. Um... Okay, that's a bunch of dead guys. Hey, get the hell out of here. And then we'll, we'll wait here to use this next turn because this is all cleared out now. This guy died of the ballista, these ones are poisoned. Um, so as long as we get, yeah, if we just have, Martius kill this one off. Three shots for this? Are you kidding me? Terrible. I can't see anything through here. Um, where's a, There's a decent hit right there. So let's just mark some of these closer ones. Alright, two action points left. Focus on finishing them off. If we if we shoot uh, this one, then um, old man Willikers can zip through that area. Let's head on down there and do just that. We've got to keep these keep the walls, uh, the the city safe. Uh, we can use an axe here. And then we could use the axe boomerang to hit. Eh, it's not a super great. I'd love to hit the maximum number of people, so maybe I'll just sword. All right, Doctor Paul. Jesus, that's a lot of monsters in the cities. Okay. Uh, fuck. These are all poisoned, but that's not good enough 
There's a guy right in my face. Out of here. Action point. May as well do some marking. Probably hop this. Um, so I do need to send Kayla in here to take care of this. We have Relentless, so we can get our action points back here, which is pretty good. Okay, we got Isolated. Spear. Isolated. Now, how close do I want to get? Probably not too much closer. I want to be able to get out of here. So let's throw. I can hop this box. Cool. Okay, so let's throw poison daggers at the armored guys. Hot damn. I also have the skewer ability here. No, uh, skewer. I'm using a lot of mana. I'm gonna have to, but I, I need. I need to do it. I need to get through this. Guy's poisoned. I might ignore him. He's gonna hit himself on Kayla. Throw maybe at these two. Okay, that's all we got. So it's time to rotate another one of these, probably Kayla. Now this one's probably faster. I don't know. Whoever's faster will rotate them on down here to help Dr. Paul. Um, we're good over here. We're definitely good up here. Thirteen. Kayla has Relentless, so here's the thing. We could come on down here and start bashing through things. Oh, I might uh, I might start with one hit here just to not leave uh, Mart. Uh, who's this Vidal completely high and dry? Um, do we have Diagonal Propagation? We don't. Okay, movement points. What else do we have access to? Magic missiles? I don't think that's necessary. That's, oh, this is pretty good. Ooh, that's fun. All right, let's get right up in the middle of them and just armor up. Just do some spikes damage. Dr. Paul, uh, no one's up here, so we're good to kind of hop the fence and then start blasting these ones right in our face here. Uh, let's focus on... Possible we get a crit here? back over do we need to help here this one when it blows up will harm the wall but I think we oh, I can't see over the wall that's right mark a couple of these this is too much movement to use I'm gonna get myself killed damn it I crit I didn't want to crit ah 
Oh, I didn't want to crit. <laughs> I didn't want to crit. No. Shit. <laughs> oh, that feels terrible. You're too powerful for your own good. If I go to here, I can do a nothing personnel, kid. There we go. Uh, we have uh, a lot of a lot of shots left. I should have saved my mark until I knew what I was going to be doing. So let's just power shot these two. Bam. Bam. All right, another side defended. Uh, Gracian, do we need you? We may not need you to waste the one point of mana. That sounds stupid, I know. Let's just see if we even need him. Oh, we've already done everything here. Never mind. Yep, we need him. Bloop. That was a cool animation. Uh, we can't use the poison because of... Well, we can, actually. We just have to kill this one. And then we can be staying... Oh, no, that one's diagonal, too. Shoot. That's beautiful. Uh, okay, and then we switch to this thing. Just that one's still alive, so we need to kind of back out a little bit. We still have a po we have a potion that we could use twice uh, if we can find somebody who needs it and get and use it twice before we end the game. Is what I mean, of course. Uh, we've got a nice perforate here. Goes right under the armor. Hop over, perforate. So we're down to seven. I believe that's only these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The doll has a lot of action points. Unforge. Oh, they're, they're mostly killing themselves off tonight. Pretty cool. So we have this potion we can use on probably Dr. Paul, because Kayla actually heals, whereas Dr. Paul's regen is garbage. Anybody else have a potion they need to use? Yep. Okay. So then we just um, go over here and bash this guy, and then Paul can just bash that guy. Oh my god, okay, we did it. We're getting the hang of this. Yeah, we did a bad job in terms of panic. Okay, good, level ups, oh god. That's not good. We need to do better than that. I don't know if it was the boomers or my placement or my loadout or my playing or whatever, but it, it was not ideal. Okay, the mist is pushing further again, so we want to get rid of that. We only have to do one more regular night, and then we have to go to the boss night. So that's going to be interesting. Okay, so let's see. We have enough essence to do something. We were working on the experience thing, I believe. John. Okay, let's go on down to here. Here we go. Heroes are uh, generated with plus experience gain. That's awesome. So we'll have more leveling to do in the next, in the future runs we do. So we have a bunch of level ups here. Old man Willikers. Um, health. What's the thing that turns his health into, all the hero's armor is transformed into health. Conversion rate at 125%. Oh yeah, and then if he has max health, gives him extra physical damage. So yeah, I guess health isn't too bad, but I think I'd rather roll. An action point. Hell yeah. Experience gain. Critical power. Daily health regen. Does he have um, coagulate? No. We could take that. He would gain a bit of armor, and then that would turn into health. It's good either way. What other perks do we have down here? Whenever the fifth turn of the night is reached, five, two action points and three movement points. Big game hunter. 
Uh, we do extra damage to enemies with max with high max health. Every three isolated units killed restore an action point. He does do that a fair bit. I think it's probably that one. And I think we need to give Vidal... Is this our snipey guy? Does he have Relentless? No, he can't even get it. Oh, no. So he's never going to be able to really get in super close. Oh, man. I wish I had realized that ahead of time. Okay. Level up. Dodge. Movement point. Let's roll that one. Experience. Reliability. The reliability. And a perk. Um, big game hunter. Night owl. Potent toxins. Hex. Isolation. Whenever a critical hit is landed, restore two mana at the end of the hero's turn. We don't really use a lot of mana. Boom. Whenever a unit is killed within range three. No, we don't really do I think Night Owl might be good. The the extra two shots or one shot um, from turn five on would be really great. Uh, Gracian. Level up. We've got a health. I might take that because if I make a mistake, he's, he's dead uh, is the main problem with Gracian. I think that's not a terrible idea. A multi hits. Uh, now that's not something we do. Really fantastic rare perk, but we don't do that. Critical power. No, let's roll it. Momentum. Momentum. Isolation. Poison. Opportunism. Propagation. The uh, opportunism, I guess. It's not great. And another perk. So I think we want this one. 75% plus 75% poison damage, but the time goes down. So we'll do a lot more poison damage for one fewer turn, but we already increased it by one turn before. So this is good. We want to really, like, um, what do you call that? Like, distill that damage down to as much as possible in a short period of time, because dealing damage to an enemy for three turns is great, but they're going to get to the walls. They're going to get to the characters. So that'll be really fun. And we'll try to see if we can find him another druid staff that's a little bit better. Okay, Kayla's level up. Kayla can get health. That's probably a pretty good idea. And health regen, we do have coagulation. But I think I'd be willing to roll here. Momentum? We do use momentum a lot, sure. And then a brick point. Let's see if we can get a little tankier here. Back protection. Increase the damage of all defenses within range 10 by 50%. Exploit weakness. Attacks ignore 50% of the target's resistance. Hmm. We already can be accumulated with magic damage's unique property, which means you could ignore 100% resistance. That's interesting. So they have no percentage damage reduction. Whenever a unit is killed within a range of three, overkill damage is transferred. That's probably good. We do, we have a couple, like our main bash and then our shocking touch are both very effective tools that I use a lot. And this would mean that some of that damage just goes to somebody else. And that's, I'm happy with that. That was really cool on Dr. or Old Man Willikers. So Vidal, physical damage up by quite a bit. I will take that. That's a, that's a guaranteed kill. Critical power up a lot. It's going to hit for quite a bit. Every three isolated units killed. Restore an action point. I may want to consider this sprint so that I can I could spend health. Ah, I don't know. Whenever the hero dodges. We do have an incredible dodge chance, actually. But if we don't dodge, we die because <laughs> he's got 96 health. Oh my god. Let's do this, because then even if we get the extra action points, we could just use them on his defensive dodge, right? I've never taken every skill in a tree, I don't think. And here's Martius, my... Oh. I was going to say disappointing character, but here we go. Resistance reduction, I'll take that. And then a perk. You're our baby of the group, aren't you? Okay, we've got human ballista some extra shots from him is not bad 
Critical power, nope. Propagation, nope. Disables the second weapon slot, uh, but we would lose the bonuses of like the gear. Hmm. What's this do? Jump over skill, has a higher range, minus movement cost. Mm. When attacking a unit with full health, the attack gets extra critical chance. That's probably good. He does. He has a fair bit of AoE. Increase our chance of killing them outright. Let's grab that one. That seems good to me. Okay. Um, we're almost out of time for this episode, so let me, let me grab some stuff. And I might do the defenses, like, not on the recording, and then we'll come back and be ready for the combat in the next episode. So let's grab our bower item. We have a wooden hand crossbow. That has multi-hit on it. Slow death, a poison, armor piercing, and blaze. Propagation, right, 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 right. That is a fun attack. Longbow plus two. Where's Martius? The longbow plus two is better than the steel shortbow. But we'll have different stuff. Snipe shot. Arctic blast. Huh. Stun chance. That's interesting. Minus 10% reliability on this bow. That's odd. I don't know about that. Here's a heavy crystal. Resistance reduction 24%, but you lose a movement point. What the hell? I think I'm just going to grab this longbow. I may not use it because I'm not sure about that minus 10, whatever. Some armor. Uh, I've got a blue pants here with dodge and mana. Critical. And block and propagation damage. Kayla has on two block. It's probably better. Um, who? Uh, this would be for Vidal. Ooh, I think that's it for him. His dodge would be pretty crazy. Okay, we've got Novice Orb plus two at Arc Masters, Arch Masters Tome of Secrets plus two, which adds a Propagation Bounce. And here's Reliability. Propagation Bounce is pretty cool. But Gracian has this extremely powerful book, and I think that we're good on his main attacks. Novice Magic Orb. So let's just grab this book because it's worth a lot of money and it's pretty damn good. Uh, swords. Mithril Hammer plus three. It gives block and this has Crush and Stomp. This can stun things. Not really exactly what I want to do. Rusty Sword. Now I'm good. The old man Williker is here. Now this is a worse weapon in every way. Great. Silver two-handed sword. It also has the charge skill. Huh. Oh, but it doesn't... You don't dash through them. You just attack those three tiles. That's interesting. Let's grab this hammer. May or may not use it. Might just sell it. Got a lot of stuff to do. I lost a house up here, uh, which sucks. Um, I may rebuild that because I want the people... There we go, we've got our people back. We need to push back the mist. And I'd like to see the ratio per direction now. Two there, two there, and then one on these sides. Okay. Okay, one on these sides. So that's gonna be... Gracian is definitely quite capable of defending a side by himself. Kayla does well in open areas because they can get hit by a bunch of stuff. Um, we're going to need probably Dr. Paul over here. Old man Willikers. Somebody's got to defend by themselves, and that is a tough thing to do. It might be Kayla. Let's try it with Kayla, because Kayla can, like, stun and, like, stand in the middle of things and just let them kill themselves off. Put these two together worked well. And then these two, I suppose, we'll have to do. Uh, we have some defenses to repair. Repair defenses. Repair walls. 
think I just click it at this point. I just need everything, really. We lost a gate. We lost a lot of stuff. Uh, what else do we want to build? Do we want to build anything? I think we need a mono well, right? We don't have one. Or do we? No, we have a mono well right here. Um, upgrades benediction. Restore 75 health. Cost a worker, but we probably needed it. Um, same with mana here. So we who who needs like a lot of mana? Vidal. That's it. Everybody else has really pretty damn good mana regen. Let's give some to old man Willikers here. Wow. That's pretty cool. Didn't expect that. So we're good there. Got two workers left. Might be materials we want to make here. We'll check out the shop as well. I might do a little bit of this uh, after ending the episode just so we're ready for the combat. Um, is there anything I really want to build, though? I just don't think there is at this point. It could be like another scavenger's camp. Uh, but we're almost done with the game, so I might just spend my workers on some... Well, I could produce items as well. I am looking for a better staff, and I am looking for... Always more armor is great, you know. So I might I might do like a uh, magic and an armor. Let's just do it. Let's do a uh, magic item and a piece of armor. We'll find something. We can always sell them if we don't like them. So magic. We got nothing great. Power staff is not my favorite item. So I'm going to grab this and it's probably going to get sold. And then armor. Uh, medium armor. Mana, armor, health, armor. Minus one movement point. Round shield. Minus reliability. And here's a rusty shield. That's interesting. Minus reliability, but you're tankier. What does Kayla have on in terms of shield? Reinforced shield. That seems better. Because there's no negatives and it's got decent stats on it. Um, does anybody need a shield that isn't like wearing one already? Yeah, Gracian could use a shield just in case. Minus reliability, healing received, and block. Oof. I think I'm going to go with this this one, and if I don't need it, I'll just sell it. So we're out of workers. Uh, I have some gold to spend. So I will, um, let me pause, and if I find anything like crazy, I will unpause and then uh, before ending the episode. All right, everybody, I'm back to show off my haul. So this is what I bought for Vidal. Let's actually just go into his character sheet. I bought for him this trinket that gives plus two movement points. Now he's gonna lose 9% critical chance, but I think that because he doesn't have Relentless, him getting in and out is very important. So, cause he can get in, cause I was wasting action points, right? Like trying to keep him safe. But now we're so damn fast. He should be able to get in there, kill some things and get back out. For the same reason I gave him this extremely va valuable potion of speed. This gives plus three movement points and we can use it four times per night. So that should really get him out of a bind because he has, uh, he has 101 armor now. It's a little better because I gave him better armor. And I also increased his health, but that's both from this. So he's still, like, he can take a hit, but then he's going to start dipping into his fairly small health pool. Uh, moving on to Martius. I found this bow, silver short bow plus four. So we're going to replace the silver short bow plus one. And this will be his main weapon. And this one will just give him stats. So we can sell that one off. Um, what, who else did I get? Old Man Willikers, uh, nope. Uh, Dr. Paul, nope. Gracian, here we go, I got this trinket. Replace armor of 10 and dodge. This will give him minus dodge, but 25% poison damage, which I think should be pretty good. Uh, we're looking at 98 poison damage for beasting. Um, 128 on the putrid ball. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then... We have a magic scepter for Kayla. So Kayla's using a novice scepter plus three. This is a journeyman scepter plus five. So it adds 12% momentum, which is huge. And it has propagation damage, which doesn't matter that much, but the base damage is huge. So we've got a base damage of more than 50 points maximum and minimum damage is higher. So it's gone up like, th this has made them more than 33% stronger and that 12% momentum is going to mean if they move a few tiles and then bash with the with a basic attack that thing's dead so that's pretty exciting 
So I will probably just, just double check that nobody wants something like this armored elven boot thing. I can't imagine anyone really has... Uh, this one gives a couple points of accuracy. I think I'd rather keep that one on. Health minus accuracy, but some health regen. Uh, is that... That's only a couple points of health lost because of armor, right? Yeah, that's better. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so I'm gonna sell that stuff off and then I'll probably do the defenses uh, at the beginning of the next episode like without recording it so we can get into the combat. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have been enjoying this series so far. It's so, so fun and I am nervous now. I am so nervous. Tonight's gonna be tough. And then the night after that is the boss and I've heard I've heard horror stories <laughs> online about the, the new bosses, which did, the Harpy one did just get nerfed, and the but the Lakeberg one I think got buffed, so I think I'm a little bit worried about that. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next episode.